Легко читаем по-английски. Английские сказки для мальчиков. Страница 38. What is this palace you speak of? Что это за дворец, о котором вы говорите? The Sultan sent musicians with trumpets and cymbals to meet them. The ear resounded with music and cheers. At night the princess said goodbye to her father. She was charmed at the sight of Aladdin. The next day Aladdin invited the Sultan to see the palace. Aladdin became the captain of the Sultan's armies. He won several battles for him, but remained modest and courteous. They lived in peace and content for several years. But far away in Africa, the magician remembered Aladdin. He discovered that Aladdin escaped from the cave, married a princess, and was living in great honor and wealth. He decided to steal the lamp. He traveled night and day till he reached the capital. When he was passing through the town, the people everywhere were talking about a marvelous palace. Forgive my ignorance, he asked, what is this palace you speak of? Did you not hear about Prince Aladdin's palace, was the reply, the greatest wonder of the world. Страница 39. New lamps for old. Меня новые лампы на старые. To find out what the noise was about. Выяснить по поводу чего такой шум. The magician saw the palace and became half mad with rage. He bought a dozen copper lamps and put them into a basket. Then he went to the palace crying new lamps for old. Aladdin was not at the palace at the moment. The princess sent a slave to find out what the noise was about. Your majesty, replied the slave, an old fool offers to exchange fine new lamps for old ones. Another slave said, we have a very old lamp, let's change it. But this was the magic lamp which Aladdin left there. The princess did not know its value. She went and said to the magician, Give me a new lamp for this. The wizard immediately exchanged the lamps. After that, the wizard went away and rubbed the lamp. The jinn appeared. The magician ordered the jinn to carry him, together with the palace and the princess, to a lonely place in Africa. The next morning, the Sultan did not see the Aladdin's palace. It disappeared. He sent thirty men on horseback to fetch Aladdin in chains. Страница сорок. Thirty men on horseback. Тридцать конных стражников. I must have my daughter back. Я должен вернуть свою дочь. Where is my palace and my daughter? Asked the Sultan. Aladdin could not say a word. I must have my daughter back, and you must find her or lose your head. Aladdin begged for forty days to find. Uh, Aladdin begged for forty days to find him. For three days he asked everyone what became of his palace. Nobody knew the answer. He came to the banks of a river and rubbed the magic ring. He still warm. Another jinn appeared, save my life, jinn, said Aladdin, and bring my palace back. This is not in my power, said the jinn. I am only the slave of the ring. You must ask the slave of the lamp. But you, said Aladdin, can take me to the palace and set me down under my wife's window. He at once found himself in Africa under the window of the princess. That morning, the princess rose earlier than usual. As she was dressing, one of her women saw Aladdin. Страница 41. For a while, на некоторое время, my tears will not bring him back to me. Мои слезы не вернут мне его. The princess ran and opened the window. They were very happy to see each other again. Please forgive me, said the princess. I didn't know anything about the lamp. So I gave it to the wizard. He is very evil and he wants to marry me. Aladdin asked, where is the lamp? 
the wizard carries it with him, answered the princess. Aladdin left her for a while. He changed colors, bought some poison, and returned to the princess. I will tell you what to do, said Aladdin. Add this poison to the wizard's drink, but don't let him notice that, and Aladdin went away. The princess listened carefully to Aladdin. When the magician came, the princess said, I realized that Aladdin is dead. All my tears will not bring him back to me, so I am ready to marry you. The magician ran away to put on his wedding dress. The princess put the poison in his cup. Страница 42. There are cured people by her touch, которая лечила людей прикосновением рук. Asked what the matter was, спросила, в чем дело. When the wizard returned, he emptied his cup and fell back lifeless. The princess then opened the door to Aladdin. He went to the dead magician and took the lamp. Then he bade the jinn carry the palace back. Very soon they were at home again, but this was not the end of the story. The African magician had a younger brother, who was even more wicked and more cunning. He traveled to the palace to avenge his brother's death. On his way he killed a holy woman that cured people by her touch. Uh, touch. He uh, took her clothes and put on her veil. Uh, then he went towards the palace of Aladdin. All the people thought he was a holy woman and wanted to touch his hand. The princess heard the noise and asked what the matter was. The slave said it was the holy woman. The princess sent for him. Please stay with us forever, said the princess. The princess showed the false holy woman the palace and asked her what she thought of it. Страница 43. А, рак, птица рух, а в средневековом арабском фольклоре огромная птица, способная уносить своих когтях и пожирать сынов. Is it not enough that I did everything for you? Разве недостаточно того, что я для тебя сделал? Take care of yourself. Будь осторожен. It is truly beautiful, said the wizard, but you need one thing. And what is that? asked the princess. A rock's egg, replied he, it is the nicest wonder of the world. After this, the princess could, could think of nothing but a rock's egg. When Aladdin returned from hunting, the princess looked very unhappy. She told him about a rock's egg. Aladdin rubbed the lamp and commanded the jinn to bring a rock's egg. Is it not enough that I did everything for you, cried the jinn. You command me to bring a rock's egg. It's impossible. This request does not come from you, but from the brother of the African magician. He is now in the palace disguised as the holy woman whom he killed. Take care of yourself, for he wants to kill you. The gym disappeared. Aladdin went back to the princess. He looked as if he had a terrible headache. He requested that the holy woman lay her hands on his head. But when the magician came near, Aladdin took his dagger and pierced him to the heart. What did you do? cried the princess. You killed the holy woman. Not so, replied Aladdin, but a wicked magician. After that, Aladdin and his wife lived in peace. When the sultan died, Aladdin ruled for many years. He did justice among the people, and all the people loved him.